We know that adults who survive the ICU may experience post-intensive care syndrome, PICS, which includes physical problems, difficulty thinking and concentrating, and mental health problems. Families are also affected by PICS, which is called PICS family, and may experience anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress, and complicated grief. Children may experience similar problems, including learning and attention difficulties, post-traumatic stress disorder, sadness and depression, difficulty sleeping, behavior changes, motor dysfunction, breathing problems, feeding problems, difficulty seeing and hearing. What can you do to prepare your whole family for going home? Ask your healthcare providers to help you prepare for discharge by reviewing new and old medications to figure out what medications your child will need and for how long your child may need them. Reviewing equipment you may need at home. Reviewing follow-up appointments. Providing contact information if you have questions before your appointments. Discussing your child's pick you stay with his or her pediatrician. Asking to meet with other people that might be helpful to you, your child, and his or her brothers and sisters, such as support groups, social workers, case managers, and child life experts. Be sure to have this information written down so you have reminders once you get home. Researchers are working to understand what happens to children who survive critical illness to improve their outcomes. Doctors, nurses, and therapists are working to create support groups and follow-up clinics to help children and their families on this journey after critical illness. The Society of Critical Care Medicine wants to do more to help. In 2015, SCCM launched the Thrive Initiative. SCCM believes that ICU survivors have unique knowledge and skills that they can share to help improve recovery. Thrive is creating an ICU survivor network. Through face-to-face -face peer support and virtual groups, survivors offer each other support and help solve one another's problems, problems like William and Maya's. In 2015, six Thrive sites were launched. In 2016, 11 more joined. Thrive is also creating a virtual community that makes it possible to connect online and over the phone. If these stories are like yours, please join us and help us invent a better method for recovery together. www.myicucare.org thrive.